Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and this is the electrical question of the day. What color should you use to mark the high leg of a four wire, midpoint grounded, delta connected system? Now this is one I've seen on every single electrical exam I've ever had. And it's very important to know, especially if you're industrial or commercial or troubleshooting, this is just a good one to know. But what it's asking is, what color should you mark it? And like I said, it's been on every examination. My master's test, my journeyman test equivalent, my um, both of my electrical inspector certifications, every test I've ever taken, this exact question was on there. So if you'll memorize this, then it'll be an easy one for you. It's found in 110.15, and it says, on a four-wire delta-connected system where the midpoint of one phase is uh, grounded, a center point, only the conductor or bus bar having the higher phase to voltage shall be dur durably and permanently marked that so the outer finish is orange in color or by other effective means. So that really leaves it open for interpretation, but most inspectors would want to see orange, but it says here by other effective means. So it says but it must be orange in color or by other effective means. So that's kind of a, a muddy area there. And it must land on the, I don't know if it specifies here what phase it should be on, but now it's on the B phase, which if I'm not mistaken, I think pre-1975 or in the 70s, it used to be on the C phase. And this is what we're talking about here. So what it states is, is that if you have that higher voltage, so if you have a center corner, or excuse me, a center or midpoint grounded delta system, which is going to make this phase right here. 208 volts to ground off the center so you would have 120 volts to ground off this first one here let me get my pointer out you'd have 120 volts to ground here you'd have 208 volts to ground here and you would have 120 volts to ground here and 240 across either one of them there depending on the setup so it's super important that we understand that this is our high voltage and it's super important that they used to phase the C phase orange, if I'm not mistaken. It was the C phase used to be orange, and then they switched to the B phase being the high leg. So this used to be the high leg. You, your power company may still require this to be the high leg. But the biggest thing to watch out for is that every one of these B phase breakers are going to be 208 volts to ground. So you have to be very careful there. If you ever hooked up something 110, you're like, oh, I got a free breaker space right here. Boom. Also, I want to note that this could be some other means they could use some other means to mark whether it was some tagging system or whatever it have to be accepted by the authority having jurisdiction but just be very careful because it doesn't necessarily have to be orange it just has to be some other effective means one thing i want to note too there's nothing in the codes that that stops you from using orange somewhere else as well so it's not just for the delta high leg it also can be used for a phasing conductor and other things so just be super careful with this orange conductor always know your voltages know what's going on know what system you're working on before you ever do i am the electrical code coach and if you want to learn more awesome things like this and just become a well-rounded electrician or be ready for your master's or journeyman exam you can visit electricalexamcoach.com let's get to it